crispy. Hello everyone, and welcome to another figure review. Here we'll be reviewing the Mezco 112 Collective Amazing Spider-Man figure. Now this is my second Mezco figure, and the first being the Batman vs Superman Batman. And I have to say that Mezco figures are quite impressive, and this Spider-Man shows the talent and attention to detail these figures have. This is a really excellent Spider-Man figure. I wouldn't say that's the best one yet because there are some things to note on how it could have been better, but it's definitely in the top three. Now this figure comes with quite a bit of accessories, so let's go through them real quick. First we have three sets of hands, two open hands here, we have two hands to hold the web lines, and then we finally have the two twipping hands. And then of course the fists that are already on him. Then he comes with an array of web accessories, two basic web shots. One is longer than the other. One web that is spread out. And then we have another that's much like these but it's spread out at the end as you can see here. And all of these are painted with a glossy white paint job and they're sculpted very nicely. Then we have a long bendy web line that I like very much. This is the first time we got a web that can actually bend and you can pose it to your liking on how you want him to look with the web when he swings. It's fully posable and this is something I really appreciate. You can bend it any way you want to and it holds it very nicely in this hand like so and I'll show you how we change the hands really quick the hands come off very easily and then we just get the web shot put it over the wrist peg like so and let's get a whipping hand to show you how it goes it plugs in very nicely and it hides the, the small ring as you can see there very clean can't even see it I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna leave the fist on for the rest of the review to make it a little easier then he comes with a alternate head as shown here now this head is very reminiscent of the first Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man cover with the squinted eyes. This figure comes with a stand as well. Basic Mezco stand. The figure stand has the Spider-Man emblem on the top of the base. And it comes with an articulated stand that connects at the bottom. And you can choose to pose the stand however you'd like. And that's about it. I would say that you get what you pay for and this is a pretty impressive range of accessories that we get with Spider-Man. Now let's take a look at the actual figure. I'm literally amazed at the tailoring of the suit and I can't stop thinking how nice this figure really is. Everything from the head sculpt and the details of the soles at the bottom of the feet are just excellent. Great paint job on the eyes here. Let's get a closer look at that. Shed some light there. Focus in a little more. Great paint job there. I love the eyes and the molded plastic parts. The head sculpt I have on here is probably my favorite. I know this is an original design from Mezco, but the suit and the raised webbing just remind me of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. It's kind of similar, maybe a little bit. And I absolutely love the raised webbing on this figure. There's raised webbing on the boots here, on the head, and on the hands as well. And let's take a look at the bottom of the feet. He has soles on the bottom of his feet that make it look like uh, sneakers. And I think it's cool that they included that. This is also a little similar to the TS TASM2 movie suit. Uh, the spider on the back is just a classic spider symbol. It's a very ultimate Spider-Man looking, so I see a mixture of um, 
influences in the suit here. It may be an original design for them, but it's kind of comic slash movie based for me. But that's just my opinion. Now let's take a look at their articulation. And we'll start from the head down. The head is on a ball joint, so the head has a wide range of motion. It looks all the way up and all the way down, side to side, and it pops off very well. So you can change the heads however you want to very easily with no problem at all. And it pops back on just as nicely. Uh, so really great articulation in the head. You always want your Spider-Man to be able to look down as far and then as far, as far up as possible. So when you get him into those really acrobatic poses, his um, range of motion in the head will be limited. Let's take a look at the arms. The arms go all the way out, all the way down, of course. They go all the way up. And now here's where you need to be careful with the figure. As you can see here, the cloth bunches up at the arm, so be mindful of that when you pose him. No butterfly joints, and I can understand why, because of the suit, you don't want to ruin it. The arms do go all the way back, so full range of motion in the arms. And like I said before, just be, be very wary with the suit, because if you really treat it badly and abuse it, just posing it however you want to, roughly, you might rip it. I'm not sure. Um, since this is a Spider-Man figure, it's a lot more agile, so it may happen because you're being posing it a lot. Let's take a look at the arm articulation. So, double jointed arm, very nice. Goes all the way out. There is a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge all the way through. So we can get that nice flexing pose there. He does have an ab crunch. Works very nicely, goes not all the way down, but pretty good, all the way back. So it's decent, and then it does go side to side, and it does twist. But then again, please be wary of the suit. It's not going to go all the way to the side because he is wearing a cloth suit. And I think that's something that's very unique about this figure, is that you're going to have to be thinking about the suit and how it's going to be looking as you pose him in comparison to a Spider-Man figure like this to where, you know, it's just cloth here, but here it's plastic. You're not going to be worrying about it, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. It seems to be very durable. Uh, let's take a look at the legs. His leg goes all the way forward, like so. It doesn't go all the way back. There is a part right here where his butt is. It's hindering the leg to go all the way back. So it doesn't go all the way back, but it does go all the way out. He can do the splits, almost, because of the fabric. So there's a little limitations here to what he can do, but he does uh, get into that sitting pose. So that's good. He can do that. He does have a thigh swivel here. So you can get that extra range of motion. Double jointed knee. Very nice. No ankle articulation, though. No boot swivel, sorry. Well, actually, you know what? His boot does swivel, but very limited. And then, of course, we have the ankle rocker and pivot. Goes up that much, forward that much, and it rocks side to side. So the ankle pivot here, I'm going to say, is lacking. Not great. I don't like it at all. The ankle pivot is all right, but you kind of have to work with it when you pose him as when you have his feet. It doesn't go to a full flat flush pose on the floor how it should be. So you're going to have to finesse it a little bit to have him just straight on the floor like so. But overall, the articulation is pretty impressive. He can get into pretty much every pose that you want him to, depending on how much leg poses you're going to do, because it does 
hinder it just a little bit. Um, but overall, it's very poseable, and I'm very surprised as they were able to do that with a cloth suit. And that just shows you how much work they put into this figure. And I do appreciate that. This is probably one of my favorite Spider-Man figures. Let's do a quick size comparison. Here he is next to Pizza Spidey. He's just a tad bit taller to the top of his head. And here he is next to my favorite Spider-Man figure out of all of them, Snapshot Spider-Man. Also just a tad bit taller, so he's about six, six and a half inches tall to the top of his head. So he'll fit in with your six inch scale figures very nicely. No problem. So really quick, my final thoughts on this figure I think it's a great figure to add to your Spider-Man collection and it has a unique style to it because of its nicely tailored suit here. Mezco has shown what they could do and although overall it's a great figure, I wish they included a better ankle rocker and a pivot to get him to more poses. A butterfly joint would have been nice, but I do understand why they couldn't do it because of the suit design. It might rip depending on how they did it, who knows, but overall, I think it's a great purchase, and I'm currently having a lot of fun with him. I'm going to be honest, when I saw the promo pictures of the figure, I didn't like it. I didn't pre-order it, and I thought it was actually going to be kind of whack, but once the figure came out, I couldn't help myself to get my own. Uh, in hand, the figure just looks impressive, and I can't express how cool the head sculpt looks. The head sculpt is probably my favorite thing about the figure really nice head sculpt um, I was lucky to get it under retail but if you're looking to purchase a figure I would do it now before the prices skyrocket because aftermarket prices on some Mezco figures can be very high but um do it before that happens and also please check out my pictures at the end of this video I took a few pictures to show off what he can do with his different accessories and again thank you guys for tuning in it's always a pleasure to do a review, and I have a lot of fun doing them. Until next time, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.